Hey guys, it's Lisa and welcome to my channel. Uh, I talked about in my last video that I was going to be going uh, through the store making over every area and, and I started with the jewelry section and now I'm moving on to the farmhouse corner and um, so I've decided that what I'm going to do is each of the little vignettes that I create will be a video. And the first shelf that I'm doing is inspired by these uh, these plates. And as you can see, two of them are very aged. Uh, and then one is kind of aged. And then the other one it must have been on the bottom somewhere and it looks almost new. Uh, but my color scheme, this is what is actually uh, giving me the idea for the color scheme. So I matched the plate that was in the middle so not the lightest one and not the darkest two but the one in the middle and that's the white that i'm going with and i want that blue also and i'm starting with this little uh wooden basket i guess you would call it and i'm going to paint this i thought about adding a handle to it and decided i didn't want one because i don't want to limit it i'm going to be putting some plates and things in this so i didn't want to limit it uh, i've already taken this outside and sprayed it with two coats of a clear satin finish and the reason i did that is because i was afraid i would get some bleed through especially on the inside where there is no sealer and uh, I was almost certain that I would get some bleed through. So I had to give it two coats first. And now I'm going to give it two coats of the color buttercream. And then once that dries well, then uh, I'm going to put another clear coat on this to seal that uh, paint. And then, uh, and then I'm going to be adding a transfer. I wanted to say thank you to all of you for all the support that you've given me and all the encouraging words. Uh, I just can't imagine um, doing this without uh, all the encouragement that I get from you guys. You all are just awesome. And I feel like I know so many of you well, uh, even though I've never met you. But it just seems like we have so much in common. And I think that that happens a lot of times with Christians is uh, that we're just so like-minded. And we are family anyway, by the way. So uh, it just makes it so easy to relate. And I just have to make sure every now and then to let you guys know how deeply I appreciate you. Now this is the area I'm making over. And this is a very sad area right now because uh, it got hit hard about a month ago. And I haven't had a chance to replenish it. And things have kind of gotten moved around. And it's just what I would call a mess right now. So there's lots and lots of room for improvement. And we're gonna start with this one little shelf. Um, I say we're gonna start with the shelf, but I actually, my husband did some, um, added some barn wood to that area also. So um, it's just really gonna make a really big difference. So that motivated, motivated me to make some other changes. And again, it was very needed anyway. So I'm going to put one of these transfers, and these were given to me by my friend Frankie. And she had gotten them in a set and said she really just wouldn't use the blue and white much. And so she brought them to me, and I just absolutely love them and have been waiting on just the right project to use them on. And I think this is, this is the one. So this one shelf is going to uh, have this color scheme on it, and it's going to be more of a French country farmhouse style. I love these little wooden baskets. I think they're just so fun to make over and almost anything that you do to them, to them look good, I think. So um, these are always, I always buy them uh, when I find them thrifting. And um, this one is a really good size one. 
So once, once I get these transfers on, then I'm just gonna take some light sandpaper and just uh, barely go over the transfers. That way it makes them look like it's always been there. Uh, I think it's a good idea to do that with the transfers. You don't wanna sand much and you wanna use a fine grit sandpaper, but it really does make a really big difference. And then of course I'll do some heavier sanding on the other areas. And I just think this little box turned out so sweet. And there are those uh, plates in it and some old silverware that I put in a jar. So I think that made a sweet little display. And now I'm gonna work on my next item. And this is a block of wood that I've had at the store for a while. I, I get these usually given to me. Uh, you can go to construction sites and they'll give you the little scraps of wood that are left over if you'll just pick them up. So um, I like to pick those up and um, a lot of them you don't even have to cut. They're already a good size that you can just kind of sand them down and uh, paint them and add a transfer to them. So uh, this is going to get two coats and I've already base painted it black again because um, I wanted a good color to distress down to and I did that some time back I wasn't planning on using it in this in this video and I never got around to actually painting it after I base coated it so that made it handy for this and I gave this two coats of buttercream and let it dry well and then I do uh, do, do some light distressing on it and I put a clear coat on it and then I add my transfers. And then after I add my transfers, it's always a good idea to do another clear coat just to seal in that transfer well so you don't have, you don't have to worry about it trying to come off later. And I also like to keep these little blocks of wood because uh, it makes a good little sign to, to add to a vignette if you just need a little finishing touch these are perfect to fit in your vignette so i'm picking out one here that will work well on this little block and um and i just did the front of this one you could you could do actually both sides and then uh, you could swap it around when you want to change uh, but I'm just going to do the one side on this one. If I'm selling these, a lot of times uh, I just do one side because uh, you don't want to uh, have too much money in them. And um, you're not going to get a whole lot more by doing the back side also. Obviously, you want to paint the back side, but um, just a transfer on the front uh, is fine. I like these two by fours because... You don't have to worry with uh, putting them on a plate stand to stand. They'll just stand on their own. So again, once I get this transfer on and I take it outside and clear coat it. Um, actually, I sanded it before I took it outside and clear coat. And as you can see here, you get your, your distress shows up really easily uh, when you've got that black underneath also painted a couple of bottles in that same color of buttercream and i used a slick stick on them first which is a dixie bell product that will help paint stick better to slick surfaces and then um, and then i painted both of the bottles in the color buttercream and then once that was dry then i sprayed them with that same clear satin finish and now I'm gonna add one of these transfers to each of them. Now, some of these videos will be just a little shorter than the ones that you're used to seeing me do because again, I'm doing one shelf at a time and uh, this will actually work really well for me because I'm uh, trying to um, get ready for a short little vacation and um, I want to get some videos ahead so that I can post while I'm gone. But I think this is a very simple way of turning a bottle into some beautiful decor. This didn't take much uh, time or effort at all and uh, that this will work really well and fit really well into this vignette. 
And then once this one is done, then um, I'll add a transfer to the other bottle that I painted. And I'm sorry I didn't show you guys the before on those. Now this one wasn't an actual bottle. It was more of a fake crock. So again, I painted this uh, with the buttercream and clear coated it. And now I'm going to add a transfer to it. And I think that um, this simple little transfer on this one will be plenty. Now, I'm not going to have a hang tag for this video. Um, and I haven't been getting quite as many lately. And I think that's because I, I haven't put the address in the description um, lately. So, I'm going to add the address to send the hang tags to in the description. And if you haven't watched long, uh, we make hang tags on, on this channel. And... Um, I invite people to send one in to show the kinds of things that you do with your hang tags. We just thought that the hang tags would um, mail very easily and not take a lot of postage. And uh, that would give me a way to show some of the things that you do. And if you want to send one in then um, and you want your name mentioned just write in on the back of your hang tag or in a letter let me know to mention your name and i was just so happy with how this one turned out i put those silver plate pieces in there and i think they complemented that blue and white so well and put that little jar of silver plate uh, flatware in it and um I just put those in a jar and put a dollar each on them, and people are happy to pay that. I hope you guys enjoy this short little video, and I hope to see you in the next. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless you and your family.